Reporting tonight, Adrian, the response here in Alabama to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Hospitals began administering their first doses of the vaccine about three weeks back, but the pace at which people are getting vaccinated is drawing criticism. WVTM 13 Ship Scarborough takes a look at the obstacles the state is facing. The Alabama Department of Public Health acknowledges there are challenges in getting people vaccinated in a timely manner. We have to vaccinate about 300,000 or at least offer vaccine to about 300,000 persons in the phase 1A. A phase Dr. Karen Lander says the state will be in for a while. It, of course, includes frontline health care workers and nursing home residents. We're very grateful that the long-term care partnership with pharmacies is taking care of our long-term care residents and uh, providers within long-term care. Dr. Lander says last week was a short week, both because of Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, hindering the ability to administer vaccines. She says this week has been better. We had more providers giving vaccine and the county health department started giving vaccine. The Alabama Department of Public Health recently launched a vaccine dashboard to keep people updated on the number of individuals getting vaccinated statewide. We're only going to update once a week because we're uh, having vaccines administered even as we speak right now. The dashboard shows as of Monday morning, the state had administered just over 20,000 doses with more than 128,000 doses allocated to Alabama. In Birmingham, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13.